Welcome, my beautiful Pisces, last but not least, and my beautiful mermaids and mermen. This is your tarot and oracle card forecast for the month of January 2021. Happy, happy new year as we move forward, as we swim into a brand new world of 2021. I have these cards divided off into four piles. Each one represents each week of the month of January with the clarification cards. And of course, I have incorporated those energy cards to tie in this entire reading. So my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, let's see what we have here for you this week. Looking absolutely fantastic, the energy that you're moving in and forward. Your first week, you're given the magician. And this is all about you manifesting and making your dreams come into full fruition and fulfillment. You will be shown that you have the resources at your fingertips to do this, Pisces. You have what you need to need to make this move forward. This is a brand new journey for you, Pisces, and you are starting to make your mark on the world. You're starting to step up in your own confidence, your own uh, your own level of abundance and fulfillment that you have within you Pisces to make this happen you could me you know you could be getting the help from others you could be getting some unexpected resources that are going to come in maybe somebody's going to come in and say hey I believe in what you're doing I would like to be a part of it can I support you can I be part of it someone might be being becoming a silent partner here with you somebody might want to help you financially but Pisces that could be the unexpected resources coming into you but you've got all the elements there ready you're ripe you're ready to go forward the universe is karmically sending you this message that says Pisces get going keep moving forward towards your goals because you are creating a legacy and the magic that you want to create you're going to have reason to celebrate this you've got the three of cups and why not want to share our success, our happiness, our joy, all the blessings that we've been given with others? This is the ability for you to do that, to step up and, and want to share with your friends out there, your family members, what's happening in your life and to be able to feel a reason to celebrate. The success that you're developing, you're creating right now in this part of your journey, Pisces, is giving you reason to be happy, joyful, blissful. And yeah, you're going to be able to celebrate my beautiful fish. Definitely for all the hard work and effort, the blood, sweat and tears that you have put forth towards something exciting for your future. This beautiful manifestation of bringing to, uh, you know, bringing to the forefront, manifesting, but working on what it is you want to come in will give you this reason to celebrate. For, you know, for others, you may be celebrating an occasion. It might be the announcement of the birth of a baby. Uh, it could be an engagement. It could be a partnership. It could be a marriage, anything. And it could also be reward uh, for hard work and effort. You may be dealing with an older woman, okay? Uh, it could be an, a dealings or relationship with an older woman. Some of you might be um, in connection with someone who you feel is a mentor. Uh, you know, I always refer to the older woman as the sage because she's filled with wisdom and she's lived her life and learned uh, and collected all of that. So some of you may be leaning into an older soul that's going to be there to support you and help you as you create this magic. For others, it could be somebody in your family. Maybe you're entertaining or perhaps taking care of an older woman in your home life, in your, in your circle, in your family. For others, you could be celebrating a life that was lived. Uh, you know, the celebration card came up. And when we lose somebody, when they pass into the, into the other world, uh, into the beautiful, uh, you know, heaven and realm of heaven, we look at it as a celebration of life. Yes, we mourn them. We miss them. We cry buckets of tears over the loss. But we have to remember that this person lived and they, they lived a life that was part, probably part of ours. And we need to celebrate the joy that we had that beautiful energy, that beautiful soul for the time we had them in our lives. Now, this could refer to many things for many people. Best card in the deck, Pisces moving into the second week is the sun. 
and you are now going to be able to see light at the end of the tunnel. You are working hard. You've worked to create these goals that you want. You've planted your seeds well here, Pisces. Look at the seven of coins right above that to clarify the sun. You've put out your hard work and effort, your blood, sweat, and tears, but it's been passion for you, Pisces. You know, when you plant a garden, it's because not only do you want to see the harvest come in, but you truly deserve, or pardon me, you truly desire to put your, your, your time, effort, and resources into doing this. Gardening isn't something that you do because you don't like it. Gardening is something that you do because you love it. You truly have this passion for it. And when you show your passion, Pisces, in any endeavor, any goal that you go out to pursue, that's when you get this success. That's when you're able to celebrate. The sun says you're lighting your own way here, Pisces. You're, you're <clears throat> illuminating, excuse me, your path. This is your light. This is your journey and you have done your planting of your seeds well. You're waiting. Okay, so you're waiting to see this success come in. You're waiting to see the manifestation uh, come to fulfillment, come into reality. This is just a short pause, Pisces. Rome wasn't built in a day. Know that your success is coming into you and and it's coming in in divine timing, but it's a steady flow of abundance, my beautiful Pisces. You've been noticing that. You have turned a page. We talked about this at the end of, of last year, and we talked about this into 2020, and here we are going into 2021, and it's continuing to grow. So know what you're doing, Pisces, is right. Know that all the work that you're applying, all those seeds you've planted are going to come to fruition. You're going to see harvest. You're going to see success. You're going to see fulfillment. Beautiful. The compass. Yes, Pisces, you are going to be able to set your compass and go where you want to go. This is about having the freedom, being liberated, to know that you can go in this direction that you want to travel in. This is beautiful, Pisces. Don't waver. Stay on your path. Know that you're doing the right thing, okay? Um, and know that, you know, this journey uh, is a choice that you're taking, that you want to do, all right? You're getting direction, Pisces. You're getting signs, Pisces. You're so psychic. You're so intuitive. You see signs all the time. Whether it's these numbers, these three digital and four, four number sequences, whether it's you smell something, see something, uh, you're constantly reminiscing and reflecting on things, Pisces. And these are messages coming into you saying, yeah, you're on the right path. You can set your compass. You can go where you want to go. Pursue this and go after it, Pisces. You're going to see the success coming into you because of it. Moving into your third week. Look what you've got, six of wands, victory after hard work and struggle. You've com you're completing something, okay? Or you're in the process of com completing something and you're doing it right. You're getting public recognition, some of you. Maybe you're out here uh, on, on you know, YouTube. Maybe you're out here in the cyber world. Maybe you're promoting yourself. Maybe you're in a multi-level business. Whatever you're doing, you're building your business, you're building your legacy, you're building your clientele, Pisces, and it's working. This is going to be victorious for you. The chariot shows up, you betcha. This is a champion card, I call it. The chariot is going the mile. You might be traveling and having to go the mile to get where you want, but Pisces, you're in the process of doing that. This this chariot does not go into its arena with the, and, the, and the driver with the controls in his hands thinking he's going in there to his doom and his death. Yeah, he knows there's risks. Yeah, he knows there's consequences. But he goes in there with the enthusiasm that he's going to be a champion and he's going to win it. And this is what you're doing, Pisces. You're putting all this hard work and effort into something that you feel so passionate about you can't help but not succeed at it. That's what this is about. Your journey, Pisces, putting in the effort, going the mile, and you're going to be able to end up with victory and feeling a championship here, a champion. Your energy card with that week is surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation 
If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So Pisces, this is all about tapping into your intuition, tapping into how you feel about life, tapping into your enthusiasm. Don't get down because as you move through the month here, what do you have? The Four of Cups. Okay, so stay optimistic, Pisces, and that's how you become this champion. When you're enthusiastic, when you're optimistic, when you are confident, when you believe in what you're doing, you're, you can't help but not succeed at it, Pisces. That's who you are. The final week, as I said, you've been given the Four of Cups. And this is reflecting, reminiscing, uh, you know, thinking um, about the past. Uh, you know, maybe you're thinking about where you were. You were in a slump or a situation or a relationship that you were missing out on an opportunity. Pisces, you, you're either swimming upstream or downstream. You don't levitate. That's you, Pisces. So, you know, you're called the moon. And the moon comes out at the darkest times of our day. And often we're either down or we're absolutely over the moon with happiness. Pisces, this is you just reminiscing, just reflecting on the past. But looking here, all the success is coming into you. You can't help but feel happy about it. You've got the Empress. You are stepping up into your power. You've kept your options open. You've made the changes here that you need to make. The Empress has this ability of wanting abundance, wanting beautiful things, wanting, uh, you know, beautiful beautiful prosperity and she gets it because she knows what she wants and goes after it she's creative and she has this ability to go after what she wants in a beautiful way she's very very uh you know she's also a, a motherly figure as well but i do see that you're stepping up into your power she leans into her king who's her king her king's the emperor he's a leader and you're taking that role as well pisces stepping up into your power now of the of the empress taking control with that you've got the life card okay time to enjoy some quality family time and appreciate the little things security and peace of mind yes you're going to have reason here pisces you're working hard towards your goals and prosperity is coming into you fulfillment success is coming into you enjoy your time here with your family okay it could have to do with sharing your time with an older woman all right, maybe a mother, a grandmother, a very close friend who's older. You may want to lean into this beautiful soul and enjoy and embrace the company you have with this beautiful person. Wow, Pisces, what an incredible reading for the month of January. You know, the magician, the sun, the, you know, the chariot, the, 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 the three of cups and victory after hard work and effort. You're going the mile here, Pisces. You're setting your compass now to go on this journey. You want to see your future unfold so that you have reason to celebrate and you will be able to see that coming in. And all because you manifested what you wanted, but you put the effort in to bring it into reality. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, my Pisces, this is your reading for your forecast for the month of January 2021. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful month of January to look forward to. And it looks fabulous, Pisces. Remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers are that you stay in perfectly good health, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.